brothers and sisters, End Times Prophecy here with an amazing, amazing message for you guys. So please listen on. The love of God. Romans 5 verse 8. But God commandeth his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Let's read that again. Romans verse 5, 8. But God commandeth his love towards us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. The love of God is a great and deep subject that will fill the minds of the redeemed for eternal ages to come. Oh, the mystery of redemption, the love of God. God for a world that did not love him a love so complete that God that God sent his dearly beloved son his only begotten son into this world of sin to make an infinite sacrifice so that we sinners may have life through him Dear listener, have you really contemplated the love of God? This is a love that cannot, cannot be matched. The sacrifice made for us is of so great a value, and yet the majority of the world either reject it or just take it for granted. Satan has so misrepresented the character of God that many have a false view of God. But do you realize what was done for you? John 3.16 For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. We are told in the Bible that God gave his only begotten Son now, for God the Father to be able to give his Son, what did he need to have to send? A Son! That's right, friends. God didn't just send his quote-unquote co-God. He sent his very own beloved Son. If you do not believe that Jesus was God's literal Son, and please take a look at our page. I will leave in the link in the in the description below. I'll also post it on a page in the video, maybe. Probably I don't know, we'll see. Going on. Just imagine having to send your child to a place where you knew he or she would be rejected, mocked, and beaten. And you had to stand back and watch all of this take place without intervening. Then you had to lay all the sins of those unworthy people upon your child, turn away from your child, and allow him to be killed in the most cruel way. That is what God did for you. The creator of the universe could have just simply destroyed everyone. But because of his great, great love for his creation, he allowed his beloved son to be afflicted for our sins and take the punishment that we deserve. And Christ agreed to make this sacrifice for us. What love? What love? First John. 3, 1. Behold, what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us, that we should be called the sons of God. God could have simply wiped out anyone who was disobedient to his law and government, but God does not want a creation that serves him through fear. He is a God of love, and wants his creation to serve him in love. That is this is why God did not destroy Lucifer when he originally rebelled. Instead, God chose to let sin manifest itself so that all the universe could see the nature and result of sin and also see the love 
and character of God in his dealing with sin by giving his own beloved son as a ransom to redeem mankind. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. In order to fully realize the value of redemption, it is necessary to understand what it cost. There are many whose hearts are no more deeply stirred by the humiliation and death of Christ than by the death of the martyrs of Jesus. Many have suffered death by slow tortures, and some by crucifixion. In what does the death of God's dear Son differ from these? Bodily pain was only a small part of the agony of the beloved Son of God as He hung upon the cross. The sins of the world were upon Him, and also the sins of His Father's wrath against the sinner as He suffered the penalty of the law. It is it was these that crushed his divine soul. It was the hiding of his father's face, a feeling that his own dear father had forsaken him as he drank the cup which the sinner so richly merited that brought despair to his soul. The separation that sin makes between God and man was fully realized and keenly felt by the innocent suffering man of Calvary. He was oppressed by the powers of darkness and had not one ray of light to brighten the future. His mental agony on this account was so great that man can have but a faint conception of it. It was in this terrible hour of darkness, the face of his father hidden, legions of evil angels enshrouding him, the sins of the world upon him, that from his pale lips were wrenched the words, My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Ellen White, Bible Echo, January 1st, 1887 Oh, brothers and sisters, if we could appreciate what has been done for us, if we could love God as He loves us, our lives would be forever changed. Dear listeners, or whatever, have you contemplated God's love for you? He has not forsaken you, but has given His only begotten Son to pay for your sins. But Christ did not stay in the grave. No, his victorious life and sacrifice brought about his resurrection from the grave, and Christ now intercedes on your behalf with God, the Father in heaven. Even though you may have been rejecting Christ all your life, he is still sending rays of hope through his divine spirit into your life, so that you may turn to him and be saved. Can a woman forget her sucking child, that she should not have compassion on the son of her womb? Yea, they may forget, yet will I not forget thee. Behold, I have graven thee upon the palms of my hands. Thy walls are continually before me. He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? It is God that justifieth. Who is he that condemneth? It is Christ that died, yea, rather, that is risen again, who is even at the right hand of God, who also maketh intercession for us. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword? As it is written, For thy sake we are killed all the day long, we are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, 
nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Dear listener, brothers and sisters, a great sacrifice has been made for you and all mankind. God has shown us his love through Jesus Christ, his Son, and there awaits an eternal life of indescribable joy for all those who accept this great gift of love, a gift that is free. Will you accept God's love today? Will you surrender your life to the only one who can save you? Please don't delay. Give your life to Jesus Christ today. Give your life to Jesus Christ today. 1 Corinthians 2 verse 9 But as it is written, I hath not seen, nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God hath prepared for them that love him. If you are willing to give your life to Jesus Christ today, but you are not sure how to do it, then please see our page on our website. I will leave in the description, What Must I Do to Be Saved? And if you are wondering why God continues to allow suffering in this world, then please see our page, which I will also leave in the description, Why Does God Allow Suffering? Also, please feel free to email us via mail at endtimes-bibleprophecy.com if you have any questions. I'll leave that in the description, the email. By transgression, man had separated himself from him who alone is light and love. The sinner was alienated from the life of God, dead in trespasses and sins. The only hope for the fallen race was found in their becoming reconciled to God. Satan had so misrepresented God that man had no true conception of the divine character. But in carrying out the plan of salvation, Christ revealed that God is love. Ellen White, Bible Echo, August 1st, 1892. Also, brothers and sisters, please visit our Facebook page. I will leave a link in the description since it's uh, kind of crazy long with a bunch of numbers. We could have done a custom one, but they didn't allow uh, it to happen. So, uh, and plus they like to censor us and shut us down. So, uh, for uh, end times updates and a uh, lot more and lot more amazing Bible truths and a lot of good stuff, please uh, like our uh, Facebook page and uh, God bless. And also uh, check out these videos if you haven't. Uh, God bless again. God bless. God bless. God bless. Also, for more amazing Bible truths and exposing false doctrines and uh, amazing Bible studies, go to our website, end-times-prophecy.org, which will be in the description. Uh, God bless again, brothers and sisters. Please keep in prayer and pray, pray, pray. Be in constant prayer and be in your Bible. The KJV Bible, King James Version Bible, not the New King James Version, the original King James Bible. Uh, God bless.